What's up, YouTube? It's the Console Samurai with Chronops Gaming. We all know in the gaming community there is a pretty big divide between PC gamers and console gamers. And there's also a little bit of a, a rivalry there that does sometimes border on bad blood between the two groups. But when comparing the two, PC versus console, there is one advantage that frequently comes up on the side of PC. And that is the price. While it's not earth-shatteringly different on the vast majority of games, PC does occasionally have some very good prices on the games, same games that are on console, just because of the way that the marketplace has evolved over time. When you look at Nintendo and Xbox and PlayStation, you see each one of them, they're dedicated platforms, they have their own dedicated storefronts. And they really don't have a lot of competition. I mean, there are some developers where you can get digital keys and there are some retailers you can get digital keys for your console games but there are not a lot of them it is primarily going to be done on the digital marketplace and a lot of the codes you do get from other other points of sale do actually just filter right through the same marketplace when you compare that to PC PC has a wide variety of places where you can get all your different digital keys whether it be G2A, Green Man Gaming, um, Steam, the developers websites Amazon, Best Buy, any anywhere. The, tons of places have these PC digital keys. And because of that, there is a lot more competition. And because there's so much more competition, there are a lot more sales. There's a lot more flash sales. There's a lot more bundles. If you look at something like Humble Bundle, it's Humble Bundle is a great site. You can get a lot of games for a really cheap price. They do tend to be independent games, and that's actually really good for helping them get their name out there. But because of the way the marketplace has evolved on PC to have so many different CD key websites, it does actually give them a bit of an advantage in this. Up until this point. Because as of as of last week, Green Man Gaming, one of the more popular, more well-known of these digital marketplace websites, has actually begun a partnership with both PlayStation and Nintendo to bring Wii U and PlayStation 4 games digitally to your home console. Now Xbox is right around the corner. Um, to be honest, I'm actually kind of surprised that Xbox was not one of the first ones out of the gate. With all they're doing to converge PC and Xbox, I would have figured that would have been a no-brainer. They would have been one of the first ones in line to do this. But nonetheless, it is coming up. It's right around the corner. And I did actually check out the website and I will put a link in the description down below if you want to check it out. They have some really good titles. There's not many titles for either yet. Um, it is. It did start out as a PC digital website, so they do primarily focus on that. But they are definitely branching out, and they have some pretty good ones, even though it is a short list. Now, there is a negative to it. There is There are allegations that a lot of these companies that do this kind of stuff, whether it be Green Man Gaming, G2A, or any of these other co uh, competing companies, they're not on the up and up. That a lot of times they get their digital copies from pirating the game, or from CD um, CD key, whatever they are, the, the things that actually hack your game, basically they're all pirated or stolen. It's it's a very common allegation for all these sites that that is how they get them, and unfortunately that means that the developer doesn't get the money. Now I know a lot of people are probably like, yeah, I don't really care about that. That's not really a main problem for me. And sure, one or two gamers doing that, it's not going to be a problem. But if that becomes the new standard that that's the way it goes. The developers will go broke. The developers go broke, they're not going to have more games. They don't, we don't have more games, we're not going to have anything to play. So it does, even though it does seem like it's a really good deal, if this is all true, it could trickle down and become a problem in the long run for the gaming community. Not that I'm accusing any of these companies of doing that or saying we should all throw our mon money blindly at the developers, but somewhere in the middle, I think this if it's true, could become a problem. But I do think it is a very interesting idea nonetheless, um, giving them the benefit of the doubt that all everything is on the up and up. I do think it is a very interesting idea. I think it has a lot of potential because having a digital marketplace that's not controlled by PlayStation, Xbox, or Nintendo could create really good competition and could help drive prices down and keep things a lot more reasonable, a lot more competitive, and we might even get some really good sales and Hell, maybe even Humble Bundle. I mean, Humble Bundle has done a few things I've seen with um, PlayStation and Xbox, but not many times. So maybe this 
thing with Green Man Gaming is we'll branch out into a whole new marketplace where we are able to go to places like this and get game um, game keys for all our digital downloads for all our consoles or maybe the ones that are out there will just branch out and they'll add the consoles to their repertoire as it was but <clears throat> I do think it has a lot of potential and I do look forward to seeing where this goes but what do you think what, what do you think about the digital marketplace now having console games as well it does kind of potentially take away that one advantage your PC had as far as pricing but it could actually be a really good thing Either way, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Once again, I am the console samurai, and I'll see you around.